Hello everyone and welcome to another War Leader PvMP video. Today I'm showing you a fight or two with uh, my rank 6 War Leader versus a low ranked uh, Runekeeper. Uh, this is Shuriz's Runekeeper, so once again it's me versus him in, in a 1 versus 1. Seems to be a lot of that on my channel lately. I don't know, it's just the way things are shaking out. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is the first oh, uh, attempt. Yeah, anytime. So, uh, yeah. I can see this going one way. Oh, go ahead. Well, I don't have any banners though, and those made a huge difference. Well, well, as you heard there, he's a well, little bit uh, hesitant well, about what it's going to go the, uh, with. Other stuff. Command post. He doesn't think he's actually going to win this. Uh, he is a fire trade runekeeper, and he was doing this a little bit before it really became proper uh, or popular for everyone to be doing that. I accidentally hit the the C K there, the C key. Um, but uh, you know, the rank six. Wow, it, it is a big difference not having access to the point defense, uh, not having access to shield bash in particular. Uh, there I finally go ahead and put down Banner of Terror. I should have done that a little bit earlier, but uh, you can just see, wow, what a massive difference it is in terms of damage output and everything. I, I go ahead, I'm turtling up right now, and uh, this is going to be kind of the test, is can I outheal his damage outputs with you know defensive aura and combat? You know, commander stance, and if I can do that, if I can hold him off, I'm going to be able to find a way to get around this and win. Uh, but instead, he comes around here, he gets one more stun on me, he stacks some more dots, uh, and I am just so close to death right now. It is very, very bad. I, I got a heal there, and it was instantly negated by the damage he put out. And you know, we're both using inductions, but uh, his dots are just about to finish me. He finishes me off right there, and. It's not even close. I, he only used up half his power bar. Power is barely even an issue anymore. So he wasn't going to run out. Uh, I tried this one. I start out in commander stance. I bend our tear down much faster. I'm in defensive aura. I'm trying to be a little bit aggressive. You know, put some pressure on him, force him to do some healing. But I'm mostly trying to just stay defensive, stay turtled up, see if I can actually pull that off. If this is even, you know, feasible right now. And, well, what we're going to see is that it's not. And this is just, you know, where, where balance is right now is that if you are low ranked and stuff, you, you're you going to end up as cannon fodder. And low ranked now means rank 6, unfortunately. And, and the other thing is that there are certain classes now, more than just the hunter, there are more classes out there now that you cannot turtle against. I, I've had some fights with my rank 10 war leader against the, some of the, of the better rune keepers who were fire traded and I didn't even manage to get into a, a chance to try to turtle up with the point defense I just died too fast uh, I have one particular fight I remember I was just trying to put damage on him doing pressure uh, I was in brawler stance from the beginning of the fight and first learning how to fight it was just a, a nightmare match after match against Will Andrea turtling up never winning yeah it just did not go well at all and yeah, the, it, a lot of that is a product of just the fact that the dot damage on the free classes, on uh, wardens and runekeepers in particular, is out of control. They, you know, the other stuff is not so bad on the balance, but their dot damage is inarguably overpowered right now. The ticks are way too big. They're way too often. The, the durations are too long. It's it's all just you beyond our ability to deal with. We, <laughs> we're back at the point where the uh, creep healers cannot heal through the damage output of a single free DPS class if they're a dedicated DPSer. And whenever that is the case, then balance is always in a tough spot. And uh, then you get the, the sunshine, the fair weather PvPers, they all join this, the side that's doing better. And then you're really in dire straits. Um, it is interesting to see his power issues going on, though, I, which I just talked about to him. Well, it looks like Banner of Terror is almost ready to come off cooldown, so uh, if I could stay alive a bit longer, uh, continue to apply Banner of Terror, then it might be feasible that I could stay, you know, get him low enough on power that I actually manage to succeed. Uh, I don't get a crit there, which I really needed a crit, Ooh, and uh, I, I made a mistake there. I moved too soon. I canceled my interruction, I moved too soon. and this is going to kill me right here. I, I hit 3,000, but he got a stun off on me, 
And that's the other big thing, is that the war leader is no longer balanced against classes in terms of being a class with no crowd control. Now, you you cannot fight with a war leader against other classes, with uh, maybe a few exceptions, without shield bash. No epic conclusion, really? Shield bash has become part of the balance equation there, and, and rightfully so. Yeah, you could have had me finish but already. It seems wrong that you know, shield bash is as vital as it is to the point where I, I, I cannot even, you know, fight evenly. Oh, you don't even use sustaining bolt. Yeah. Yeah, there went his his power pot. I mean, he was down pretty low in terms of his power, but uh, he's managed to pick up enough that he's gonna be able to finish me off pretty quick. And I mean, you know. Another runekeeper would have already finished me off because he has not used Epic Conclusion, which Epic Epic it's Conclusion right, ha has been available to him this whole time. You know, he's got plenty of attunement and all that stuff. He could have easily hit it and ended this fight a long time ago. But sure oh, chooses not to use it. He he chooses to be a full-on fire runekeeper. Well. Took longer anyway. So yeah, it was it's more effective to be turtled up, but. Uh, yeah, the healing, and the other thing is very different. Well, the, as I was going to say, the, the other thing is very different there, is that you don't have stuns, and honestly, the, the, balance, the balance has shifted. As I said in my last video, I feel like the war leader now balances up at rank 11 versus a, a good freep. I, for a lower ranked type guy, if they're a stronger class, you probably need rank seven or eight. Uh, you definitely need to have the command post to be able to be balanced for one versus one uh, against a tougher class. I would, I wouldn't feel any trouble at all with going head to head with like a a guardian or a hunter or even a lower rank lore master. I wouldn't be too worried about that with this guy. I could probably do pretty decently. But if they're higher ranked and all that kind of stuff, you're going to run into some serious issues. And uh, even the lore master, you might run into some trouble. It just kind of depends on how good they are, and you know how good you are, and uh, just balance stuff that goes on. But just thought I'd go ahead and, and do this. And the main thing to take away from this is that this isn't just indicative of what happens as the low ranked war leader versus the low ranked runekeeper. This is kind of the way that the balance sticks between these two classes right now all the way up into the high ranks so the runekeeper is very very tough matchup for the war leader right now uh, it, they're always it's always interesting seeing the runekeeper war leader because it always flip flops between the war leader being really good against them or the runekeeper just being really really good against the war leader it, it's always one of them is the other's bane so it's always interesting to see them as a as some as an often on nemesis <laughs> Oh well, I think we're not going to go on any further tangents right now. Uh, that is all for this time. Good luck and have fun out there everyone. Ugmog is out.